Shelly Chopra, founder Gaitri.com for women's health. Globally, I think there's a lot that has finally changed for women's health or femtech as they call it. I believe in the next 10 years, globally, this market would be $5 billion. In India also, the growth has been very strong, whether you look at in terms of a combination of services, nutrition, gynecology, supplements, on an average, it's growing between 17 to 20%. And one hopes that this growth will continue at this or a faster pace in the coming years. And the reason for that is pretty simple, that women that make for half the population in a country like India really deserve services that are catered and tailored to their specific needs. I think there's enough research done to recognize that women's health requires specific and curated efforts in order to provide for their energy levels, to note the fact that women have different bodies and based on that, their requirements of products and services is also specialized. Specialized for special situations that are more disease oriented. But imagine, if the primary market of preventative health can be sorted, then how many women can actually tap into this economy and get themselves and their lives on track? I hear one of the figures is that 60% of Indian women get off the workforce because they don't have solutions to everyday lifestyle issues. Time for us to change that. I believe women's health has many big challenges today that needs pressing issues to be brought in both on the policy table and for those who are making decisions about how we can shape this market. People like you and me. I believe that today the opportunity is very big. The revenue potential of this market is very big, but we're not doing enough. And this will be solved through awareness, access and availability. Awareness of women's health issues, not enough coverage, not enough talk. We talk about women's health as a bundled up issue, but actually we need to break it down. We have PCOS and endometriosis. One in four women suffer from either of these two lifestyle issues. Second, we have deep skin issues because of where you know, our country is positioned in the world, the kind of sunlight we have, the kind of vitamin D uh, you know, uh, deficiency that we have as women in India. One in three women are anemic. Um, many central issues that interfere with women just living. Forget about even solving for a disease. So I think awareness of problems of women needs to be unpacked from everyday lifestyle issues to deeper issues like cancer. Second, I believe, is uh, access. We always think that we should land up at the hospital when we are completely gutted and we don't have any other choice. We need to change that mindset. Now, how do we do that? We start creating access to simple healthcare solutions that are preventive and technology can be a great enabler there. How do we ensure that women are able to use safe, judgment-free, technology-based platforms to get access to a doctor? Now, whether this doctor is a nutritionist, a dermat, a hair fall expert, or a yoga expert, or a gynecologist, doesn't matter. But the fact that they know they can make a quick call and get virtual consultations going, important way of creating access and normalizing this. For years, the idea of healthcare has been control information. Let's change that. Give more information. The more information people have, the more intelligent they'll become about accessing solutions. Takes me to the third part. part availability. So we talk, talked about awareness, we talked about access. Now availability. Availability is an important part because um, women need specialized solutions to their health and they need these solutions because their bodies are different. Medicine by history has not really done enough by having more women as people who are researched upon to come up with good effective solutions in society. Here's our chance to change it. Not only include more women in research, in pharmaceutical solutions as they come up with new medicine, as they come up with understanding of more diseases and lifestyle problems. Menopause, for example, is happening very early in Indian women, sometimes in their early 40s, if not late 30s. How many women know that? So I think as we solve awareness, access and availability, let's use technology to our favor and overcome some of these everyday challenges by saying, think of women as a universe of different problems and not say, Women's issues, one doctor. Let's change that. So when I was setting up Gayatri.com, one of the big questions ahead of me was, will we as Indians finally realize that primary healthcare, preventative healthcare is the only solution to better lifestyle, better mental health, better physical health? And I asked myself, if it is such a big market, 
how come we are not cracking it enough? And think about it. The world got COVID. Now we start thinking about ourselves. How do I keep myself better before I fall sick? It has immediately, the pandemic has changed the way we think about ourselves. We say, no, I will not just go and solve this problem or meet an expert or go to a doctor after my leg is broken. Let me see how do I prevent my bones from becoming brittle. I think some amount of this you can thank digital for. Why do I say technology plays a great role? Not just because we've improved X-ray machines and the quality of detection, but because they can help early diagnosis and not just through machines, by us understanding that if there is something happening in my body, you know, thodi si ghabrahat, a little bit of discomfort on my back, a neck ache, a sprain, a stomach ache that I don't understand, I should at least at the earliest be able to pick up, go onto a website, log in and say I want to talk to a doctor and book myself a consultation. What will it do? It will guide me. What today both men and women need are guided programs to keep life on track before it is too late. And I think that is the biggest opportunity that digital health is helping solve. So the idea of Gayatri.com is to create a platform that is backed by real doctors who understand the needs of real women and are recognizing of our real world which is full of challenges. Focused on women, Gayatri.com offers services, products, laboratory tests, curated especially for women in one place by offering them virtual care in the comfort of their house. Most of the time when I was growing up, to get an appointment with the doctor took days. Then I had to go and wait in long lines at hospitals, sit in the waiting room and wonder why is it that a basic check of mine, a preventive health check of mine takes two to three days of my life away. That's how the idea of Gayatri was born, to let's create a space where women don't get scared about talking to a health expert. At the same time, find it extremely comfortable and affordable to reach out to a website where they can book a virtual consultation and in the comfort of their home, talk to an expert who gives them solutions, who offers them at-home laboratory tests, and most importantly, does not judge them. <laughs>